a little bit of that tranquility in life. That's what we all kind of try to obtain and achieve. Well, Thor's got a little bit of that going on today. Guys, Chris Schopa here from Bish's RV, and I'm here to give you guys a walkthrough on the brand new, first one to the dealership, 2023 Thor Tranquility, floor plan 19P. This coach is absolutely stunning. It's on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis, so it's a diesel, but it has all the options for folks like me and you that like to go and stay gone, off the grid, not needing any power, maybe taking your camera with you and your dogs, and maybe if you're a hunter, your, your weapons to go hunting, all that good stuff you can do with a van like this. So follow me, we're gonna go over a bunch of options. This thing is perfect for all of you guys that wanna be under 170K on a brand new Sprinter chassis. You didn't hear that wrong, I did say that. Let's go, follow me. So before I start even getting into all of the awesome options from the rear of the coach from the inside, all of these dual pane windows, slide hatch windows that open completely to a screen or completely visibly open. You have one on the sliding door, you have one on the rear bedroom window. I have the screen uh, displayed right now so you can see that is the exposure uh, you have when the window is slid to the side. Um, there's some cool little aspects to these windows. I'll show you on the one that's wide open on the other side once we get there, so hold that thought. Propane line on the back rear bumper. Uh, that is a quick uh, LP quick connect. So if you have a gas grill, a gas cooker, you, you bring one with you on the trips, it's, it's hooked directly to your LP line, you cook right outside. Okay, so if, I don't know if you guys noticed, right next to that propane tank, if the tires caught your attention, those are indeed an option for the Thor Tranquility. They are BF Goodrich off-road tires, LT245 75R16s. Those tires are made to go off-road and stay off the grid. Comes as a package deal. Thule is our main sponsor for a lot, for Thor-wise, for a lot of the uh, equipment on board for your off-road amenities. That is a Thule bike rack. So you and your wife, your partner, whoever your, your friend is in life to go off on these little adventures, take two, your two bikes with you. You have two proponent options for it to hook them up, set them up and take them with you. They're key locked. So once you unclamp the key lock and twist over the, the levers, drops down and you can load your bikes on. You know I'm gonna show you all the fun stuff inside this coach. There's no way we're passing these doors because when you are camped out and you're near the mountains or you're near the water and you and your partner in crime are sitting on this nice fold out bed, that's electronic back by the way, you're kicked back and you're watching the sunset go down over Montana. Bug screens down because they're flying around, but maybe they're not, maybe it's winter. Magnetized, rather than having to unzip, pull it right over, clamp it back up and you guys can open it up here. What's nice about this is if you guys ever do run into a little handiwork and you gotta check your lithium batteries out, the 400, 400 AH batteries under there, you need to touch the battery switch disconnect, any of your proponents of electronics, everything is down here. It's accessible right from the rear of the coach. I love that Thor keeps everything in one place and accessible for you guys to reach if you need to work on things yourself and there's not a service center around. Makes it easy. Watch out for that bike rack. They can get in the way and hit you in the head. Sewer hose line comes with one with the coach. It's a nice option that's already in there. This comes from Thor as a gift to you. So a nice, clean, brand new sewer line. Definitely need a new, clean one. And that's the other side of the siding glass window with the screen tucked away as well. So for all my guys out there that like to be off the grid by themselves and doing their own thing, and I'm not saying that you're a hunter or not, maybe you're a photographer and you click pictures, but that's a pretty cool window. Think about it. All right, so I kind of mentioned lightly that the coach has the lithium batteries, the 400 AH, it's got a 170 watt alternator. That is an option that was added to this coach that is on this from Thor. Um, for the power, you have a 190 watt solar panel on the roof, allows that trickle charge for that battery to stay consistently hot when you're off grid. And then your local connections wise, if you wanna put more solar to the left of the city water connection line for your continuous water is Dry dock, uh, you know, dry dock, boondock, and solar panels. Put them on the ground and plug them in right there. Local TV antenna to the left of that, and then your 30 amp line. Really easy convenience. You don't have to go all over the coach. Black sewer, uh, sewer line drop down there, so pull the lever. The sewer lines facing north-south instead of east-west. 
and the fun part's coming now, guys, because we're going inside this beautiful machine. I'm so excited to show you this coach. Come on in. Check this out. Do you know what that is? That's JBL Audio Speaker. You got USBs, you got your 110 plugs, you guys just had a heck of a bike ride, you guys just had a whole bunch of fun on the ocean surfing, whatever it is, everyone's hanging out, having their drinks, putting on the success music, and just kicking back, because this right here is exactly what it's about. All right, so I just panned inside to the coach from standing outside out there excited talking about music. Had to get my bearings because I was starting to drift off on the ideas of where I could go with this coach. And there's a lot of places. Um, I'm done riding my bike. I'm done surfing. I'm hungry. I need to wash my hands. I need to get some dishes ready. Stainless steel sink. Two propane burner cooktops. I don't need all that induction cooktop stuff. I just need some fire. Let's get this thing going. Let's cook some food. Let's get some soup ready. Let's make some sandwiches. That's all you need is a two propane cooker right there. Still got my music playing. Oh, stainless steel fridge. I love that store uh, that our Thor guys are using the Norcolds because separation, deep fridge, and then it's a fold down box. A little small ice cup for ice wise, but it's enclosed. It's not just one of those flaps. That's a big deal. That keeps everything truly frozen in that little box compartment. The smaller microwave aboard, it's also convection. So you can also do both types of baking in there. Uh, anything you would do with a standard oven, you can do with that convection microwave. So don't let it like you know, scare you away. That's good news. Um, everything control wise on this coach for your lights, for your awnings, for your systems, for your water heater, it's all centrally located on this panel right when you come inside the coach. It's perfectly located. You don't have to go all over finding everything. This is an ease of convenience. Did I skip the bathroom? No, I'm just going to show you last because it's a really nice bathroom. But we've just had a great day. We want to nap. We want to hang out. You got the side east-west sleeper, or if you want to turn it into that full giant bed, right where the camera is to that right hand is where it's stored for the ladder and your table. So in the side behind that driver's seat door there, that ladder's to climb on the roof. You can remove that. And then behind it is a panel for the table and a bar. And so we pan back over here to the ground. That's where you plug in the bar to eat and put the table down. But if you want to sleep, like I was just mentioning, there's the slide, side levels here. You put the table on there, put your cushions down, get yourself some sleeper cushions, and now you have a nice, big, huge setting for two people to sleep comfortably. This is an electrically driven backseat couch too. So up it goes off of electronics from a little switch in the back here. I'm not going to demonstrate on this video just because there's some equipment down on the couch, but if this comes up electronically, you don't have to get down there and switch levers. It's a pain in the butt to do that. A lot of the other brands are still doing those manual lever releases. I like electric. Bathroom for last. We're dirty. We've been riding all day. Nice big setting for a wet bath. I'm going in. I'm taking out the hanging bars for the towels. You guys don't mind me because I'll probably be in there for about 10 minutes after I use the pumped, perfectly set east to west commode. I'm 6'1", 205, plenty of space. It, there's, there's plenty of room in here for this little bathroom, guys. Plenty of room. But going inside to take a shower, I'll see you guys later. Oh, huh, before I get, man, those Euro doors are really nice. Golly, a high gloss too. Uh, excuse me, anyway. Uh, price, right? What, were you, what, what, what is this? How expensive is this? What if I told you that this coach is probably about $25,000 less on the MSRP price than any of the brands in its market? The sticker on this is $164,000. Give me a call, guys.